Okay, so I actually started recording this and then my camera decided it didn't like me. So, I've already got it out of the packet. Um, this is the box that comes in. This is the AC Ontour Contouring and Highlighting Kit for lighter than light skin tones. In other words, if you're a bit of a ghosty like me or you're really pale, this is for you. It's a highlighting kit that comes with six different, um, like, powder, contour, and highlight things. And, um, yeah. On the back it says, sculpt and define like a pro with six powders designed to contour and highlight the face, formulated to provide a natural and healthy glow for light skin tones, which is me. It comes in bubble wrap, which is a good stress relief. And then the actual thing, it looks like this. It's the pack, like the packaging is really pretty. I really, I think it's really nice. And then it, on the back it's got some instructions. If you're a bit of a newbie to it or if you just want to read the instructions, I have. I'm not going to go by them though because I kind of like doing it my own way. So yeah, and then you have like this little, oh look, <laughs> cute. I um, yeah, I'm filming one over him because I can't find my camera at the moment. Um, so it comes with like a little plasticky sheet over it and then you get like a decent sized mirror and you get like the shades. So let's, let's do some swatchy swatchy. So first of all, oh, they feel really buttery. Ooh, is that banana shade? That, I like that. Then you get Sort of a, I think this is, I think it's like a medium, more medium highlight shade. Oh, and then you get a highlight shade. That is a highlight shade. That is a pretty highlight shade. So that's those three. No, I'm going to go this one here. Then the one next to it, which is the middle one. I think the middle one for me is definitely more of my, high, my contour shade. And then we've got this more deeper one there. So that's all the six shades right there. They look really nice and they're quite buttery and pigmented, which I really like. Anyway, let's get started and, sorry, just adjust myself and test them out. Okay, so I'm just going to use the mirror that's with it. Um, first I'm going to set my under eyes because I haven't done that. I'm going to use the banana shade right there. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm kidding. These are actually really powdery. Ooh, 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 wow. Okay, so you probably, this is really powdery. Like, it's highlighting, don't get me wrong, it's just powdery. Um, I'm going to go in with this brush here. And that, like, the middle shade, which is this one right here. And just contour up. feel about this like that banana -y shade was quite chalky and like dusty and I thought it was gonna be like hella pink like buttery and stuff but it wasn't so I'm not sure how I feel about that at the moment I'm like oh, kind of mixed emotions about it but anyway we'll keep going so I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit now I'm going to take a little teeny tiny bit of a deeper shade and just... Oh, okay, that's better. Oh, okay. I see you, Australis. Is Australis or Australis? I don't know. I see you. I like it though. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. And I'm just going to get some of that, like... Deeper shade, and we're just going to pop them onto my nose, like so. And my, I can hear my family. <laughs> I'm gonna take that highlight shade here. Again, the highlight ones are quite chalky and like dusty, which I mean, not amazing. But then again, what can you do about it? Nothing really. That is a nice highlight though. I'm actually going to mix that one with like more of the... 
goldy one. That's a nice highlight. Like, it's not intense, intense. Like, it's not crazy. But it's like a very day, like, very wearable one. And we're going to pop some of that. I mean, I don't know how I feel about it, if I'm being honest. Like, let's, if we take. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it definitely makes your face look sculpted. Um, I like it. I really like it. So I'm just going to put some blush on just to make it look a little bit less ridiculous. I have no clue if this blush is going to suit what I'm wearing on my face, but... Oh, okay. I'm I'm liking this. Oh, okay. No, Astralis, I see you. I see you, Astralis. I see you. I like this palette. This was twenty one dollars and fifty cents from Farmers. I think you can probably get it cheaper other places. There is a New Zealand though, and a New Zealand makeup is expensive, so just bear that in mind. Would I get it again? I actually would. I really like it. Like, I've seen so many mixed reviews and mixed opinions about that palette. But, like, I like it. I mean, I know this is the lighter than lights. This is, like, the ultra light one. And for me, like, it's given me a really nice shape and stuff to my face. So, I like it. Um, if you're somebody, like, it's a little bit powdery and a little bit dusty. But then again, it is a drugstore palette. So, you know, you're not going to get, like, intensely buttery and creamy kind of a texture. I definitely felt that the darker shades were actually a little bit more buttery than the lighter highlighter shades, which is weird because usually it's the other way around. I do like it though. Um, if you're going to use a brush, make sure that you use like, I don't know, just don't like swirl it around, otherwise you are going to work out like quite a bit of excess product that you're going to waste. So that's not very good. But other than that, like it's just, it's a good product and I actually think it's, it's $21 and $21.50. You definitely do get like a lot like these pans guys are pretty they're they're a decent size, you know So yeah, I like it. I think the packaging is super cute and I would Definitely recommend that to anyone whether you're starting out or whether you just want it to add to your collection or your kit It's a really good and affordable palette that I think I'm definitely gonna be using a lot because it's just amazing It's fantastic and yeah, I hope you guys like the video and um, yeah, bye. I love you